What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans, and college football fans everywhere? Welcome. This is the Picture Show Network. I'm Tizel83, and I want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to stop by and check out the content. If you would, at the end of the video, like, comment, share the video or the content that you're watching. Of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button down below. We're talking about the Belk Bowl, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on the Virginia Tech Hokies. There's a lot to kind of unearth here, so let's uh, let's get into it. You know, my initial reaction was met with, with quite a bit of confusion. One part being because it's the Belk Bowl. A pretty good bowl when you consider Arkansas just won seven games. They won seven regular season games. Four games they got blown out. Five, the fifth game, they had no business losing at all, and they lost it. Um, and they made the Belk Bowl. Of the bowl games that were out there that were available for the Arkansas Razorbacks, I did not think they were going to make this game. I thought the Mizzou, the Mizzou lost all but... All but did it for Arkansas shot at the at the Belk and they got it. So for Hog fans, you got to be excited about the Belk Bowl. I'm excited about the Belk Bowl. But uh, let's talk about the matchup here. You have Virginia Tech. They finished nine and three. Okay, their only losses in the regular season were to Tennessee, Syracuse, and Georgia Tech. Tennessee would go on to finish eight and four. Syracuse, probably their 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 version of Mizzou, would go on to finish four and eight. Georgia Tech would go on and finish eight and four. But still, you're talking about a team that finished nine and three, won their side of the division. Okay, they won the coastal side of the ACC. They won their division, played in a conference championship game, and they're going to play an Arkansas Razorback team that finished in the middle of the pack in the SEC, maybe even at the bottom side of the middle of the pack. That's who they're about to play. That's who Virginia Tech's about to play. Uh, so, Hog fans have got to love, you know, the the opportunity in the bowl game. But in terms of true hopes of winning this game, you're probably going to favor Virginia Tech in this one. This is a lopsided bowl game. I haven't had a chance to look at all the other bowl matchups, but this one has got to be one of the most lopsided in the conference in the SEC. But uh, hey, maybe you know that'll make things interesting. Um, let's talk about the destination. Of course, this is in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's going to be played December 29th, which will be on a Thursday at 5:30 p.m. It is a 13-hour drive for Arkansas fans here, or at least you know the ones out of uh, Northwest Arkansas from Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, Bentonville, that area. Uh, Going to be a pretty good drive if if you are driving. I'm hoping that a lot of you fly safer. Uh, yeah, it costs a little bit more, but man, if you can afford it, it's just so much safer. And uh, you want you want everyone to drive safe and and be careful and everything. But hopefully you fly. If not, if you drive, bring your headphones. Bring your Bring your snacks and your soda drinks because you're going to need them. You're going to need something to keep you preoccupied on that drive. Arkansas fans typically travel pretty well, and I think that's another reason why they got picked in this bowl game. One of the one of the reasons are they going to travel when you consider the the bitter taste that's left in their mouth after the Mizzou loss. When you when you look back and they won just seven games, but on the bright side, you're about to play a pretty good opponent, and that's going to be the drive. That's what's going to drive people to want to take that to, to to travel to Charlotte, North Carolina is the fact that you're going to play a much better opponent. For Virginia Tech fans, I mean, let's face it, this is a much closer drive. This is going to be a Virginia Tech home game. I mean, really, if you want my honest opinion, that's what I think it's going to happen. I could be wrong. It could be split. Maybe Virginia Tech fans aren't so thrilled that they lost their conference championship game and they're playing a team that didn't finish so well in the SEC. Maybe maybe they have that side of it. But uh, overall, I think... Um, I think I think this is going to be obviously favoring very much for Virginia Tech fans in this bowl game when you talk about who's going to fill the stadium up. What's on the line for the Arkansas Razorbacks? I think there's more here for Brett Bielema than the Arkansas Razorbacks. Because if you lose this game and you lose it close, maybe your seat isn't so warm in 2017. I think a lot of fans disgusted in the way that they lost those four games but then you fast forward to that Missouri game and the way they lost that game, the way they couldn't match the intensity in the second half and Mizzou came back and won that game. Arkansas unable to do anything in the second half. Of course, you got to give credit to Missouri, but for Brett Bielema, he lost a lot of, a lot of people kind of turned on him after that game. A lot of fans. It's, it's, I don't think his seat's quite as comfortable as it once was going into that Mizzou game. Those four losses kind of already, I think, uh, got fans thinking twice, you know, or, or or to get to thinking about the bigger picture about Brett Bielema being the head coach at Arkansas. But then that loss against Missouri really got people thinking. 
and, and you got to wonder too at this point what Jeff Long's thinking. Now you've got a bowl game here against Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's going to be favored, and I'm going to be surprised if they're not favored by double digits. You got a shot here at proving a lot of people wrong, winning a big, getting a big upset in the Belk Bowl. That could turn things around. Obviously, it'd be a great win. Uh, you know, Arkansas's all-time bowl record, 15, 23, and three. Obviously, you get that 16th bowl win. But uh, you know, you finish three and five in the conference. What a way to kind of start with a with a better beginning in 2017. Obviously, how you go into the off season, how you recruit, how you finish recruiting, going into the off season, and getting ready for 2017. A win here could change a lot of people's minds going into 2017. It could change. You know the narrative, which is right now Brett Bielema going into 2017 with on the hot seat again. Win here, that seat may not be so warm. So uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, comment, share. We're gonna have more breakdown coverage of the actual game. You know, the week before the game or so, maybe a little bit before. We'll have to we'll have to get that all figured out but uh, look for that video obviously we're going to cover some basketball and some football recruiting and all that in the coming weeks so again thanks thanks for checking out the content and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video